Hey all, my name is Laszlo Leber, welcome to my channel Coaching. In this little video tutorial series, I would like to show you how you can use the Spring Boot application inside the Visual Studio Code environment. We are going to build a little Spring Boot application and in the second tutorial, I would like to show you how you can create a REST API with a JAX RS implementation with Jersey basically and we are going to dockerize our application and we are going to run our Spring Boot application inside Docker in the second tutorial too. And in the last tutorial, in the third tutorial, we are going to dockerize a front-end application, which is a React application, the Spring Boot application and the Nginx proxy. And we are going to use a Docker Compose file to run them together inside Docker containers so we are going to doc dockerize the whole uh, full stack application together. So let's get started. Here you can see the Spring Boot, Spring IOS Quick Start web page. Here, please open this generator web page where you can generate a starter Spring Boot application. Here, we set the artifact and name to Spring Test and please select the Spring Web as a dependency and generate your project. Okay. After you downloaded the project, please create a main folder because in the later tutorials we will put a front-end application and an Nginx here as well. So Paste your project folder inside the main folder and open the project folder in Visual Studio Code. We are going to set up our Visual Studio to be able to handle Spring Boot Java applications. So open your folder. If you open the project in VS Code here, you can see that you can install the Java extension pack for Visual Studio Code, so please install it. Also, you can install it manually from the extensions uh, window inside Visual Studio Code. Okay, it is installed for me. Here you can see that it recommends you to download the Java development kit. So please download it. Download the version 11 from the official website. It is already downloaded for me, but you can find it here. My operating system is uh, Windows. So I'm searching for Oops, I search it for Windows and here you can see the installer. I downloaded it and I installed it and uh, you can find it in the folder that you set up during installation. Here you can see my GDK. The next step is to set up the Java home environment variable. So copy the installation path of your uh, GDK folder and create a new environment variable here named Java home. And paste the path here. We are going to create another environment variable for the Maven. So after you installed the Maven uh, with Visual Studio code with the Java uh, extension pack, you can find the, uh, your maven path here and uh, add it to your path environment variable to be able to run maven commands later. Okay, the next step is to set up the Java home for Visual Studio Code and uh, Please, please paste this 
settings here in your settings JSON of your Visual Studio and after that restart your Visual Studio to be able to use the Java Home Okay, I'm installing these recommended dependencies or so sorry, not dependencies, uh, extension packs for Visual Studio as well, which are recommended by VS Code. And uh, here you can see that it is recognized as Java project, uh, a Java Maven project. So you can find your project under the Maven part the Maven section here on the left and also it is loading currently but you will see that uh, VS Code will recognize your project as a Java project soon. Here you can see the progress of the loading here in the terminal. So after it finished, you will see that here you go. We have our Java project and it is rec recognized as a Maven project as well here. So now the next step is to call MVN clean install. Oops. I have to close my Visual Studio and reopen it to be able to use our Maven path which is put in the environment variable because uh, the fast re restart was not so effective. So please close and reopen your Visual Studio and after that the environment uh, variable setup will be actualized. So in the terminal then you can call the MVN clean install command The MVM command is working now and it successfully installed the dependencies of my project. And now we can continue to build our uh, quick start application. So copy that code part here in your spring test application Java file and rename back your class name to the one that you used before and you can now call mvn spring boot run command to run our spring boot application okay here you can see that our application is starting And it is started, so I, I can now call the localhost 8080. Here you can see it's working, but we have an endpoint named hello. So I call hello. It has a parameter name as well. So I set the parameter name as stri uh, spring. So you can here see hello spring. Okay, now please stop the application and we are going to install an interesting extension 2 named Lombok. This Lombok provides many interesting annotations we can use. For example, data. If we are going to put data annotation above a class, for example, it, it will auto-generate the constructors, the getters, setters. So it is a very, very useful extension when you, uh, you are uh, coding uh, Java application so please install it of course this is only the extension part but we will install the dependency as well to our project to be able to to use the annotations but this extension is required to work 
uh, with the longbox dependency inside Visual Studio. Okay, it is installed for me and now we are going to open the POM XML. But before we install the dependency itself, you have to restart your VS Code to make the Lombok extension work properly. Okay, in here, in the Java projects, here create a new package under our uh, Spring application and named it other. And in the other package, under the other package, please create a new Java file named user. So we will have a user class just to test the longbook extension. Here, please type data. You can see here that we don't have the longbook package to be imported. So the extension itself is not enough to use longbook. We have to install the dependency too. So under the dependencies, here in the Maven section on the left, please install the longbook dependency. And uh, if you put the longbook dependency here, we have to call the clean install command or only now install is enough. So call mvn install command here to install the dependency. And after that, we can import the longbook, uh, import the data annotation from the longbook package. So here you can see that the installation is under progress. Now, the longbook dependency itself is here in the pomixml and uh, now it is installed so I can import the data annotation from longbook, create private property here named uh, name, it's a string and longbook will auto generate the getter setter and constructor so we can use our user class here in the in this function. So create a new user object here and set the user's name to the name which is coming uh, as parameter in our rest endpoint. So here we put the name and here we are using the getter to test it as well. And now you can rerun your application to test it. So everything should work as expected. So you can run the MVN Spring Boot Run command again. And we can test our application with the longbook. Okay, it is started, so I can now check it in my browser. So I call localhost 8088, sorry, 8080, not 88. And uh, I call my hello endpoint and you can see it is working. Okay, it was the first part of this tutorial series. In the next capture, we are going to dockerize our Spring Boot application. So we are going to run it inside the Docker container. And also we are going to build REST API with Jersey, which is a JAX RS implementation. So come back later. Thank you very much. If you liked my video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You will find many interesting tutorial in this YouTube channel in the future too. Thank you. Bye.